3D scanners are becoming a much sought after accessory for 3D printing enthusiasts. Today, I'm gonna to review a new 3D scanner from RevPoint that's portable and easy to use. Hey, I'm Richard with The First Layer, and on this channel, we do 3D printing tutorials, reviews, and live streaming videos to help you get the most out of your 3D printer. So if that's something that you're into, make sure to subscribe and check the bell to get notified so you don't miss any of our future content. Since 3D printing was made accessible to hobbyists, there's been the desire to be able to scan objects and then 3D print them. In the last few years, more and more companies are releasing 3D scanner products that some are built on an open source hardware solution or software add-on for devices like the Xbox 360 Connect. Now, the open source designs use off-the-shelf hardware and could capture objects using a webcam like the Cyclops Laser 3D Scanner. The open source design used off-the-shelf hardware and would capture objects using a webcam like the Cyclops Laser 3D Scanner. You can print the parts and source the electronics yourself online. The problem was that they're limited in the size of the objects that you can scan. The software and configuration was clunky at best, okay? Uh, if you had an old Xbox 360 Connect lying around, and some of us do, you could get better quality scans using software like Connect 3D scanning software. The drawback was that you needed to have a computer that could handle the large amount of data captured by the Connect to get really good quality scans. Now, anyone searching for an affordable 3D scanner may be interested in a new piece of hardware recently launched on Kickstarter, the RevPoint Hop 3D Scanner, a lightweight handheld 3D scanner perfect for creating 3D digital imagery from almost any subject and builds a scan ready for 3D printing. The Pop 3D Scanner is very easy to set up and start scanning objects right away. Pop 3D Scanner is designed with binocular and structured light technology, which ensures that the acquired 3D point cloud data features high accuracy. Now, the highest single frame accuracy can reach 0.3 millimeters. Now, this device supports both high precision and texture scanning modes, which allows you to directly generate vivid 3D models for color 3D printing. Now, how does it perform? I know that's the big question. Now, I was sent a pre-production model uh, by RevPoint that had issues staying connected. Um, whenever I launched the included software HandyScan, my computer would struggle to stay connected to the device. Now, my PC's no slouch in the performance department. With a i7 9700K with 32 gigabit, gigabytes of RAM and a 1660 graphics card, there's more than enough to power the scanner. It took Brian and I a good few hours to determine it was not getting enough power to stay connected. Uh, Brian plugged it into his laptop and with similar specs, and the USB 3 port was able to supply enough juice to get scans. If you're using this with a desktop computer, you will have to have, at the very least, an Intel i5 or i7 with uh, at least 16 gigs of RAM. If you don't already have a powered USB 3 hub, you're gonna need one. The scanner's capable of scanning most objects. There are three different scanning scenarios and we'll touch on those right now. There's a fixed scan scenario. When you scan a smaller object, you're gonna place the scanner on a stable desk with the scanned object on a turntable at a proper distance. And that's usually about 12 inches. You get a click start, a 3D model of the item will automatically form. POP allows you to place the object in different angles during the scan to gain all the details from every dimension. Now, you will need to pause the scan before you change the position of the scanned object and resume scanning after uh, the angle has changed. Now, the first uh, mode that they have is free scan. If you want to scan something, too big to be placed on the turntable, you can use the free scan mode. Hold the scanner with the holder and move slowly around the object uh, that you want to scan. Now there's human scan, which uses that same type of hold the scanner in your hand and move around 
You can see here we've got uh, Brian was doing some of himself, uh, by himself, with himself. I'm not sure how self to get that self, but you might be interested in digitizing yourself for fun or for gifts, for family or friends. You know, how cool would it be to give your head to your loved one? <clears throat> Pardon me, my throat's dry. Um, you know, it might be creepy, it might be cool, who knows? The human mode allows you to scan your face in a recognizable accuracy. Um, it's equipped with structured infrared light. Pop makes no trouble for anyone staring at the scanner for a long time. In the kit I received for review, it had all the extras like the turntable, the mini tripod, uh, phone mount, and a whole lot more. At the time of this recording, the APK for Android was not available, so I can't demonstrate the portable nature of the scanner. Kind of sucks. Uh, because of the nature of the infrared system, it can't see black. So scanning objects uh, with very dark colors will, won't render very well for you. Um, but before I get into the pros and cons of this, uh, I have a small request. If you're getting value out of today's video, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Now, let's get a closer look at the pros and cons. So under our pros section, we have uh, lightweight and portable. That's for sure, it is very lightweight. It's accurate to 300 microns. It's versatile with multiple scanning modes it's ready to print as a direct uh, export STL, priced right for the market, good accessories, and high resolution scanning. On the con side, it doesn't see black. If you're using a desktop PC, you're going to need a powered USB 3 hub uh, because you just won't get enough power out of USB 3 ports on your PC. Now, there's no Android support as of yet, but I do know that the APKs are coming. So um, watch out for that if you are going to uh, look at uh, joining the Kickstarter or uh, get uh, one after the Kickstarter is over. And the documentation, there's no real documentation. It's not great. You know, the POP3 scanner is currently uh, on Kickstarter and there's a link below. If you're looking for a quality 3D scanner that won't break the bank, then this is the one to consider. I'm sure once it goes into production that they'll get some of the hiccups ironed out and there should be an Android and iOS support available for, for whatever phone you may have. So how would I rate the RevoPoint POP 3D scanner? Well, based on the pre-production unit, I'd have to give it a three and a half hot ends out of five. Um, once the product is in full production, however, uh, and they've addressed some of the issues, the POP 3D scanner will be a popular accessory. I have no doubt about that in my mind. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about the channel before I let you go today. We now have memberships available. Take this opportunity to check out some of the perks and consider joining our club. Also. Check out these videos for more tips and tricks. Until next time, remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print. See you next time.